Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will discuss about Nyquist plot with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I will discuss about steps of Nyquist plot. After that, I will explain calculation of Nyquist plot. After that, I will discuss about stability using Nyquist plot. And at last, I will solve one example of stability using Nyquist plot. So let us start this video with first agenda that is steps of Nyquist plot. See in Nyquist plot in general we follow three steps. In first step we need to plot polar plot. So in Nyquist plot first of all we need to plot polar plot. In my last chapter of this video lecture series I have explained polar plot with great clarity. You need to go through those videos. In first step, we need to plot polar plot. In second step, we need to plot inverse polar plot. And inverse polar plot, that will be mirror image of polar plot with respect to real axis. So first of all, you need to plot polar plot. In second step, we need to identify inverse polar plot. See, in polar plot, we will substitute s is equals to j omega. In inverse polar plot, we will be having s is equals to minus j omega. That will be exact mirror image of polar plot with respect to real axis. In third step, we need to have Nyquist contour. See Nyquist contour, that will be arc from omega is equals to minus 0 to omega is equals to plus 0 in clockwise direction. So all those things that I'll explain along with examples in future coming videos. Now I will explain calculation of Nyquist plot. See in Nyquist plot, we will be having polar plot, inverse of polar plot and Nyquist contour, right? So that will be appearing somewhat like this. Now in this Nyquist plot, you can observe here in total four lines are there. See this is first line you can observe. This is second line, this is third line and this is fourth line. Let me explain calculation of this first line. See this first line that is polar plot. To have a polar plot, first of all we need to substitute s is equals to j omega. Right. If you observe here we have exact replica of this line over here that is inverse of polar plot. In inverse of polar plot, we will be having s is equals to minus j omega. Now if you observe this curved line, so that is third line over here. In this curved line, here we have radius that is infinite. In this outer curved line, we have a radius that is infinite. So in systems transfer function, we will substitute s is equals to r into e to the power j theta where r is going towards infinite and this theta that will vary from 90 degree to minus 90 degree right that is third line now here if you observe we have fourth line that is this and this fourth line that is applicable only if we have poles at origin right so here if you observe this third line that is having radius that is mentioned as smaller and that radius is going towards zero right and here theta that is varying from here to here means it is from minus 90 to plus 90 right and that we need only if we have pole at origin so by examples you will get to know how exactly these lines are there Right now consider in calculation of Nyquist plot, these four lines are essential. Out of these four lines, polar plot line that I have already explained in my earlier videos. Now I will be explaining you stability using Nyquist plot. See Nyquist plot is having polar plot inside and with polar plot I have explained stability. Stability of open loop transfer function that one can identify using polar plot. But with Nyquist plot, we can identify stability of open loop transfer function 
as well as stability of closed loop transfer function. So Nyquist plot that can identify stability of open loop transfer function and closed loop transfer function with polar plot. We can identify stability of open loop transfer function only. With Nyquist plot, one can identify stability using equation of n is equals to p minus z. Here you need to understand the meaning of n, p and z. See, n is number of encirclement around critical point. So here in Nyquist plot, critical point is minus 1 comma 0. Minus 1 is real value and 0 is imaginary value. So number of encirclements around critical point that is n. So here we have n that is number of encirclement around critical point that is minus 1 comma 0 and always remember this encirclement that will be positive in case of anti-clockwise encirclements and this n will be negative in case of clockwise encirclements. Here we have this p. This p is number of poles on RHP for open loop transfer function. So this p that is open loop poles on RHP, right? Open loop poles means you will be having open loop transfer function for which number of poles on right half plane that is p, right? While this z that is closed loop poles on RHP. So with the use of this equation, we can identify stability of open loop system as well as closed loop system. See if you have open loop poles on RHP, then open loop system will be unstable. And if you have closed loop poles on RHP, then closed loop system will become unstable. If you observe the table, here we have P and Z. If P and Z, if it is zero, then you can say open loop and closed loop, both systems are stable. But as if P is not zero, means open loop system will become unstable. And as if Z is not zero, then closed loop system will become unstable, right? Now I'll explain you one example that will give you more clarity. So here I'll consider one open loop transfer function and for this open loop transfer function, I will try to identify stability. So in first step, what we need to do? We need to have polar plot, right? So here in polar plot, we will be having critical point and that critical point is minus one comma zero. With this critical point, real value you can observe that is minus 1 and imaginary value is 0, right? With this g of s, we can have polar plot by substituting s is equals to j omega. So here, let me plot polar plot. Here, I'm not showing you the steps. To understand those steps, you just go through my last video. Right now, I just want to explain you stability. So I'm directly considering polar plot that is happening like this with this open loop transfer function, right, where you can observe this polar plot that is starting from omega is equals to 0 plus 2, omega is equals to plus infinite, right. Now in second step, what we need to do? In second step, we need to plot inverse polar plot. So that will be XZ replica with respect to real axis over here. You can observe this is XZ replica with respect to real axis. Inverse polar plot is having s is equals to minus g omega, right? Now, in third step, we need to have Nyquist contour. See, Nyquist contour that will be there from omega is equals to 0 minus 2, omega is equals to 0 plus in clockwise direction. So, here we have omega is equals to 0 minus, and here we have omega is equals to 0 plus. So, here we will be having Nyquist contour, you can observe that is having radius that is infinite and it is there in clockwise direction and it should be there from omega is equals to 0 minus 2 omega is equals to 0 plus like this right so this is how we can have nyquist plot now from nyquist plot we can identify stability of open loop system and stability for 
closed loop system here we have stability equation that is n is equals to p minus z where n is number of encirclement with respect to critical point so here we have a critical point you can observe minus 1 comma 0 and if you observe here we have one encirclement that is this that is there in clockwise direction and here we have second encirclement that is also there in clockwise direction so with this critical point in total two encirclements are there in clockwise direction means n is equals to minus 2 right so n value is minus 2 clockwise sign is negative here we have two encirclement around this critical point if you observe this open loop transfer function then here in total four poles are there you can observe two poles are there at origin s is equals to zero one pole is there at s is equals to minus one that is there in left half plane and another pole is there at s is equals to minus 0 0.5 that is there in left half plane means for open loop transfer function all the poles are there in left half plane so here in rhp we don't have any pole so p is equals to 0 if p is 0 n is minus 2 then z will be 2 as if you have z is equals to 2 then you can say for closed loop system we have two poles in right half plane means system is unstable so for this open loop transfer function system is stable but for closed loop transfer function system is unstable right so this is how one can identify stability using nyquist plot now in future coming videos i will solve some interesting examples in which i will follow all the steps which are there with this polar plot and based on that i will follow inverse polar plot Nyquist contour then stability equation that will give you more clarity so in future coming videos i will solve comprehensive examples based on Nyquist plot thank you so much for watching this video